Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Today we are playing the Andromeda mod. This came out, I think, actually... Oh, two days ago. Okay, cool. Um, so it's a new uh, character that revolves all around planetariums. And usually when I play these, I just dive into it with uh, no regard for anything. So we're actually going to learn about it before we play it, which is pretty much a first for me. <laughs> okay, so you have... I mean, we don't care. We'll find out what Andromeda does. You can read that if you want. Okay, reach for the stars as Andromeda, a new character that revolves around planetariums. Normally, planetariums are rare and not usually worth skipping treasure rooms for, but Andromeda makes them much uh, more worthwhile and easier to get. You'll almost always be able to find at least one during the run, sometimes even two or three. Andromeda starts with a new item called Gravity Shift, which can stop all tiers and projectiles in mid-air, making them fall down after some time. It's also Andromeda's ticket to more planetariums. All you need to do is shift reality in the right place. I have no idea what that means, so I don't know how to find more planetariums, essentially. <laughs> Very vague, but I like the vagueness. I like the vagueness a lot. Especially with Tainted Andromeda. What, like, what even? That is so not helpful. And, uh... Yeah, a bunch of unlocks and stuff, and look at those credits, very nice credits. I played Andromeda for like a quick second, just to uh, just to get a feel for it. We're going to completely restart though, of course. I did almost nothing, and he's actually quite unique. So, the tears is kind of like anti grav Yo, look at that right there. I, I forget that mod characters are probably going to have this now with a completely new layout in the bottom. But so, it's kind of like Tiny Planet, but it's a long build-up, and if you let go... They shoot out into what basically is Tiny Planet. And with Gravity Shift, you click that, they stay right there. Basically, <laughs> turning it into Anti-Grav, which is very, very cool. And you can see the trinkets. We have the Telescope Lens and uh, that other one, <laughs> which I think it uh, keeps uh, familiars close to you. And you can tap fire to basically uh, make it regular... Um, to make it regular fucking... What's up? Wait, what? What? So we gravity shifted. We can't gravity shift again. So it took me to a planetarium, but uh, but excuse me, was that planetarium? Oh, you know what that might have been. Okay, actually, let's do a quick restart. It's um okay. So this is my prediction at the very least. Um, and I think I fucked it up. So if you don't like this item room, which I do right now. When you have that spider web under you, you can just absolutely fucking just leave. <laughs> and then it's as if you're never here. And see, I don't have the spider web anymore, so it doesn't work. So it's basically like you can peep the item room. And if you say, you know what? This is a hot load of garbage. I want planetarium chance. That's when gravity shift works, which I absolutely freaking love. I freaking love that. So here's the thing with planetariums. I also don't think they're worth going for uh, most of the time. Almost every time. I think they're, uh, you know, a fallback plan. They're they're literally like, a, you know what? I can't help but notice I don't like most of the planetarium items. And that's not true. I like most of them. I'm not really... I don't really think it's worth it. Because there's some stinkers in there. And to, to bank... Skipping an item, you're banking on maybe getting a good item, potentially getting a stinker. So, really, the only two times I, like, actively... Whoops, that was bad. That was even worse my fucking pot, bro. <laughs> the only times I ever actively go from Planetarium is, uh... Wow, these tiers are hard to get the hang of. Dogma or Glowing Hourglass. Other than that, unless I just don't have keys, I don't want to get them. And I feel like that's the way they were intended. Let's try to do this. And Oh, they don't stay in the air for very long at all, actually. So I'm, my new strategy is going to be to build up, then release, and then try to go in. So there's going to be a minute of build up, which I could, could have been firing the whole time, too. And then when we feel confident enough to release. Because if not doing that, tap firing can work, like I was doing before. But it's so far spicier. So it's kind of just like an instant, like a... It's kind of like you're releasing, you know, Tammy's head real quick. Just an instant burst of tears coming out. And this can get really freaking fun with some synergies. I can already tell. Um, oh, fuck. This is actually, you know what this is? If you get anti-grav plus orbital tears, it actually already kind of has this effect. Uh, actually, quite literally. I almost want to show it off. I don't think I have the debug console enabled right now because I do a bunch of dailies on my other channel. Go sub to that, Lamau. Self-promotion in the middle of a video. <laughs> Um, follow Twitter, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's my YouTube duties to say this stuff. 
I'm sorry. I'm forced at gunpoint to say this stuff. What can I say? Um, I w there's no way we're gonna teleport out of this fight as well. Like, it's only for item rooms, which is cool. Oh god. Um, but it's so ungodly niche. And in the event that you do have glowing hourglass in the game, which you know what, we have that item in the game. <laughs> it kind of renders this a little useless for making its own item, but it makes this uh, character very unique. And that's kind of something interesting I've always thought about with a uh, tainted character. It almost makes more sense, um, if, in my opinion at least, if these tainted characters, you know, like something like Dark Arts Lamegton, that was only for that character. I think, in a sense, it's kind of supposed to work differently to make him super unique. But for someone like Tainted Juice, it's like, uh, you're, you're just a basically a good character with a really fucking goddamn it, uh, good pocket item. Um, where someone like Lazarus, that's not the case at all. Flip works nothing like, uh, it does in the real game. And I, I feel like that's. Not necessarily, but almost how it kind of should be, just to give the characters a little more uniqueness. Because Gravity Shift, this makes no sense in the game. You could all obviously change it, like with Lazarus. Um, but it's, it, I, I just think, I guess I just think it's really cool that there can be completely unique concepts to that one character. Like, I mean, T. Lilith, I guess you can... Because, no, T. Lilith, T. Lilith doesn't have an active item. I guess I'm really just talking about ones with active items in general. Um... I don't know. I guess I just like that concept, but it's obviously just not needed. Hello, buddy. Oh, there's already a planetarium. I didn't even freaking notice that. I was literally just casually shooting that fire, just chilling. I'm like, oh, wait. You know what? There's something in the corner of this map right here. And I will say, I freaking love the aesthetics of this guy. I kind of love the planetarium aesthetics. <laughs> uh, okay, let's find out what this is first real quick. Okay, well, we take Jupiter, everyone's favorite planetarium item. Wait. Did Jupiter always give you health? Because I actually don't think I knew that before. <laughs> I don't think I had any idea it gave you health. But, um... I, I swear to God, Repentance... I hate this right now, by the way. Thank you, Jupiter. Jupiter literally carried that. <laughs> repentance added a lot of new themes that I like. Or aesthetics, I actually should say, over anything else. Ooh, this is an interesting room, actually. I don't know if I've seen this before. Um... Like, with the beast fight, with Dogma... And planetariums, like, let's actually yeah, get tears away so we don't shoot a bomb at us. <laughs> um, like, they're the two new, like, huge themes, at least in my opinion. And they're probably my favorite, which I think is, I guess, interesting. I don't know at the end of the day. So, we will, I really want to um, take advantage of our gravity shift in this character in general. So, unless that's a fuck, freaking pog item... I am going to dip. I'm, I'm just uh, going to use gravity shift and dip out of there. I wonder what a planetarium only run would look like at the end of the day. We don't get to know. Gravity shifts. Ooh. Ah, oh, we don't have a key, though. I mean, it's not like that necessarily would be a good idea. And yeah, that's locked. Look at the map. It's grayed out. That's exactly how gravity shift worked. That's actually very cool. I love that. So this character is fun. And, and the question I literally just asked, what's a planetarium, planetarium only run going to look like? We just might find find out. And I love that when you use Gravity Shift, it doesn't just glowing hourglass you out of there. Which I guess does add some uniqueness to this item. So, it does stick out, I suppose. <laughs> um, and it brings you to like a freaking creepy... It's, it's kind of like a death cert room. That's the same vibes I get at least. Just a creepy version of a place that looks oddly familiar, but it's not quite the same. Because... Oh, come on, buddy. Because the death cert room, it, it, it kind of looks like the home floor. But at the end of the day, it's not the home floor. And that's the same thing you can say for that uh, room. What are we going to call that? The alt... Artarium, the altitarium for the alternate planetarium. I guess that works. All right, hit the bomb, hit the bomb, hit the bomb. Good boy, you listen. You know, Larry Jr., here's a good boy. If I could keep one item, uh, enemy as a pet, you know what? It just might be Larry Jr. He's just a little fucking worm dude crawling around. Uh, you know, since we literally only have spirit hearts, or soul hearts, whatever you want to call them, I'm going to leave. All right, let's watch the little in-between cutscene. Ooh, he has three eyes. What? I love those colors. Just the bright, vibrant blues. I freaking love that. And I gotta say, I really love uh, these new, uh, oh, <laughs> scary, mod characters that really lean into repentance. Like, having someone based around just plantariums in general is something that I actually adore. Because, like I said, plantariums are not my favorite. Having, uh, like, the deleted character, uh, if you haven't seen that, I have another video on him as well. He is basically uh, completely revolving around TM Trainer or the Delete the Challenge. More so TM Trainer, I suppose, because the floors remain the same. Um... 
I freaking love him too. Is there any other characters that came out that I really love that came out around Repentance Time? Not that I can recall. I also wasn't like focused on the mod scene for a while, so I might not be the best source. God damn it. Um, but those two might be my top two favorite new mods. There's also the Stranger. I don't know when the Stranger came out. So I do really like the Stranger, and if you don't know how he works, basically he is... Uh, I don't know how to put it. He's a bunch of modded characters in one, essentially. You start as a stranger, and you have a bunch of cards you can pick through. And you kind of use Eden tokens, in a sense, uh, to play these characters. Ooh, another planetarium. Let's go. I don't know how we're getting more, because the mod never guaranteed us more. It might just because we use gravity shift, I suppose. That's my guess. And we maybe got lucky on the first floor with the telescope lens. Um... The only problem with the Stranger is most of the builds are pretty strong. They're all unique, and I love the gimmicks. But uh, a lot of them you can just kind of steamroll with. But I love that mod in general. Stranger is very fun. Offers a lot in just one little pack right there, baby. I don't know what any of these look like by a uh, title. And that's kind of already what we have. Yo, I just realized our tiers are like a beautiful shade of blue. Like, I knew they were different, but I'm just now admiring it. So, no, I'm not blind. I just now am admiring. I wasn't before... Honestly, if you need a little orbital shield like we kind of did there... Oh my... What was happening there? I... I like, genuinely, was my controller busted for a second? Because I don't know what happened. We're going to disregard that. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't know. Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? Where'd he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I usually nail that room. I'm epic failure right now. I will say... <laughs> In my defense, not that it's a good defense. It is like, what, 2 in the morning? I lied to you. It's literally just like midnight 13. I know, I know what I just said, and I stand by what I fucking just said. No matter how nonsense. I despise you. I despise Carry On Queen with an actual fucking passion. She can get the fuck out of here. Who's Carry On Queen? Is that Chubb? Queen? Did I just say Queen? I'm gonna say freaking King. Is Chubb the Carry On King, technically? Because it's clearly a male version of. Uh, this motherfucker. So, is Chubb a king? Can we certifiably say Chubb's a fucking king? I think so. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't used Gravity Shift, like, one time for a real solid reason. You know what you can do? Just kind of leave balls like that, actually. So, when they charge at you... I mean, we don't have it charged up right now. But when uh, this boss charges at you, you can just leave him there just to like, give him, you know, something to munch on. Let's try that in a second. We're gonna prolong this fight just for that. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm just gonna keep doing what I normally do. Angel deal? Angel deal? Oh, we gotta kill these little hearts. I always thought it was weird that Carrion Queen has little hearts like that. Uh... Do -do -do. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Uh, Angel? You're still alive? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, my face with no Angel deal. Let's see if that was worth it. Whoa! That was actually very freaking pog. Let's go. You've never seen... A sexier celestial being than this. Just, uh, Jupiter really just sells the aesthetics here. W okay, honestly, where's my character that's fucking based around Jupiter? I'm not necessarily shocked <laughs> about what I'm about to say. But, like, I almost can't believe there isn't just a character that Edmund and Kilburn or whoever the fuck else made. I don't know, how is there actually not a mod character that I've seen? Based completely around Jupiter. Whoa, we caught that bitch. I, you know, we could. I knew Saturnus was was a baller and could catch items. I know he could catch the exploding shots too. But where is my mod that's based around Jupiter? You know what? We need a farting. We need a farting uh, character. Oh god, we need him to have the bean. Uh, you just, you know what? Just give him all the fucking beans. Yeah. What if the, there was a bean transformation that just turned you in <laughs> to Jupiter? It, it gave you. Uh, oh, actually, this is really where gravity shift signs shines. Um. Ooh, it just turns you into the Jupiter item. You are now Jupiter. You are now a gas giant, Slamau. I actually didn't get that joke right away, fun fact. I didn't originally understand why it was called Jupiter. I never questioned it, but out of nowhere, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> it's a gas giant. I get it, guys. I get the joke. I get the joke like three months after the fucking first time I saw it. All right. Nah, I wasn't even there. I'm such a failure. All right, everyone. I know, I know that was an epic fail. Please don't harass me in the comments. I promise to do better. Maybe. Potentially. We'll see, actually. You know what? I only have a key. So we might not even use gravity shift. I'm curious if, uh, in the gra- I'm not gonna call it the gravity shift room, honestly. Instead of the alt area. <laughs> I wonder if in the gravity, sh uh, brrr, 
shift a room, you can get some really cool shit. Because the first time there was, um, what did we have that first time? We had an arcade machine, and the next time we had an eternal chest. So I guess, I guess we're about to find out, unless I like it. Even if I like it, actually, we can find out no matter what. I don't like it, however. Okay, two chests. So it's, I really think they just don't want to give you anything really good for, you know, <laughs> piecing out of an item room. But they give you a little bit of compensation. Uh, even if it's just a key back, you know what? That's your money's back. Honestly, I really love Saturnus with this character. This actually might be one of the better items for this character in general. Because, uh, ooh, you enter... Okay, I'm, wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, my trinket. I am now just realizing my trinket. That is fucking beautiful. I love the shade of blue they used. They didn't have to make it a color I love, but they sure fucking did. Um, but what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, yes, yeah, Saturnus. Uh, whoa, the tears are over there. So, okay, yeah, look at this. You enter a room with tears already around you. Originally, our tears did not carry over from room to room. But with Saturnus, uh, they do. So you automatically get just a really good shield where you can almost walk into enemies. Uh, if you could have, um, if this was an item or whatever, which I guess is kind of anti-grav. <laughs> Plus or overall that on like T Maggie get Aries with ramming speed, you know the virus just anything that does contact damage E. Coli uh, or Even off um, Which I really don't want to get hit, but anything like that can be so good book of shadows Top tier you're actually running into you basically have a really freaking solid Orbital constantly rolling around you so I might go on record and saying Saturnus is one of the best items of this character which is really cool that an already good planetarium item is buffed on this character specifically. That is really what I want to see. What's another uh, mod character that would be very fun to base off some meme item like <laughs> like having a like Jupiter, the Bean? Which honestly, that as much as you guys might hate that idea, or love, I don't fucking know. People seem to be split on Jupiter. <laughs> um, that's going to be a strong character. Because you people underrate farts in this game. I promise the fart video is coming one day. I promise you I'll make the fart video. Honestly, the only reason why I haven't made the fart video... I don't know why I paused it there. I just wanted to see. Uh, is because in the wiki, I don't think there's a section just, you know, dedicated to farts. Poop was easy. Poop was really easy to do research on. Ooh, we have brimstone. But, um... But farts... I don't know. I haven't tried yet. But it, the information just isn't as available. Yo, look at these wings. Look at those wings <laughs> desperately flap to keep up Jupiter's body. I love that so much. Uh, and oh my god, yeah, look at this. Look at that. I <laughs> disregard the damage. But did you see that epicness? That was very scary, to be honest. Oh, we have a Zazel, dude. This drink is so good. I don't even know what it's called. I just know what it does, I suppose. Um, we need this because we are taking just abysmal damage, though. Yeah, I was about to say, though, I feel like we're flying through the game. We might make boss rush, but we won't because I will explore the entire floor just to find out. Oh, God. Yeah, that was, that was actually my fault. I was trying to hit him with the, <laughs> the, the close range tears. Um, but I do want to find planetarium. So even if we could make boss rush. Ah, fucking A. I'm so bad. I apologize for my atrocities. Um... You know, we're I'm not necessarily going for a min-max here. I'm going to just enjoy the character. That's kind of the point of these types of videos. Of course, we also want to dub. But you know what? Maybe I suck at Isaac. Today I do, at the very least. <laughs> I was actually going to go to bed. Then I went to brush my... I was laying in bed really fucking tired. And then I went to go brush my teeth. Ooh, that was a close one. And then when I brushed my teeth, I just got a surge of energy. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's time to record... Recording time is now, so I just fucking went for it. Maybe it wasn't the best idea, Isaac speak wise, but you know what? You know what? That's not the point of these videos, goddammit. I will say, however, in the future, I really do want to uh, make every upload an edited banger. And that future might be soon. Uh, hopefully, it's soon. What did that bone heart just turn into a fucking um, uh, black heart? Okay, so I know what you're saying. Y'all are saying Genesis is fun, so take it. Doesn't mean it's the right decision. I love my Saturnus. I love my Saturnus. And nothing else there really was a huge banger. N nothing was a huge banger in general there. I like my current drinker too much. We don't want to be the lost. Not that it's really going to hinder this character. Actually, will actually I think it will hinder the character. And by hinder, I mean just change it. Because you know what? What's the fucking point of you know, taking like <laughs> Judas's shadow or what? Not Yeah, Judas' shadow. What's the point of that when you're trying to show this off? 
But yeah, like I was saying, in the future, when you click on a video like this, I want to be a banger. But in the case of right now, I have not found the motivation yet. Though I'm on a teeter, dude. I swear to God to you guys, I am on the cusp of epic motivation. I have a current wave of videos, I suppose you could say. Uh, that are coming out as we speak. I like them a lot. I wouldn't upload them if I didn't like them a lot. But, uh, I think this is going to be the last wave of, you know, just, like, basic unedited. Like, I want to have a surge of bangers coming out. Though, you know what? I say every upload's a banger. But you'll see what I mean when we get there. You'll see what I mean. Because I don't even necessarily think this video is bad. Because, you know what? It's all subjective. This is a certain style. All I'm trying to say is I'm going for a different style, I suppose. <sighs> I swear that spider was going to hit me. It has every right to hit me. I'm just going to be honest. It should have hit me. <laughs> but I guess not. Oh, my God. This trinket's so good, bro. You know what? That's not even that bad. I do dip, however. Ooh. I can't help but say I love my trinket just so much more. And we will do a full clear for Plantarium real quick. No Plantarium. And that's all right. We get an extra soul heart. And more speed. Ooh. This is a freaking banger of a beggar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, buddy. You know what? I don't want anything more from you. It's time for you to die. I'm so sorry. You helped me out a lot. Much appreciated. But it was your time to go, as a matter of fact. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? I think we're actually going to do uh, Beast right now. I think it's just a huge miss. To just simply not do the beast when we've missed so many uh, item rooms. So we're, we're actually getting... That's, that's kind of the way to min-max this character. Like if someone put a gun to my head. Said <laughs> min-max this modded Isaac character. I immediately wouldn't play the game. My first reaction is to say... What? Why are you trying to kill me? And you, this is the only way I can live. <laughs> that's the first thing I say. The second say is, thing I say is, okay, let's go to Beast. And that's the only right answer. And you know what actually is the case? You know what? Maybe I should do a little uh, example of a show and tell. Oh, hello, Keeper Skin. I'll look at that in a second. We go in here. We love that. However, gravity shift out to mid max and get cancer? Oh my god, so you can find dope shit in there. And then, oh, death size dips too. Damn it. Okay. So, oh my god, things have changed. Things have changed. What, actually, what do we want? I really don't know. Huh, let me think about this for a second. I kind of want homing, not gonna lie. I mean, Sacred Heart would be above homing. But, uh, I kind of want to say I have bombs work with this character. Probably not a good idea, but, um, huh. Let me look. You know what? I'm going for the tried and true method. Of Sacred Heart. You actually just... You literally can't go wrong. No one in their right mind can make fun of me for that. <laughs> Very neutral answer. I know. I'm okay with it. And... Dull Razor. We don't have anything to work with Dull Razor. Um, but yeah, let's do a little... Let's do a little beast action. Oh, we, we can hang out with Keeper's Skin as well. Nothing wrong with that. Love it when you can find the Tinted Skull almost immediately. It's actually just... Uh, I get a, You get a Chef's Kiss every time you do that. You know what I mean? Do you, did you see that brimstone freak out with homing? I love that so much. Uh, hang on, let's see. Does homing? Okay, homing still does. It, it still does lean into it a little bit. Maybe not as much as I would love for it to. But at the end of the day, I'm actually really not going to complain with this right now. I mean, we did pick up Sacred Heart. We have full health, and I've been playing Abysmal. This game handed me the win. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to complain about a single goddamn thing right now when I feel like I borderline don't deserve this. <laughs> but you know what? It's just called streamer luck. That's just how it is. Like I said in my uh, video the other day, the alt path mod video, uh, all YouTubers, they have that, <laughs> they have that um, you know, cheat that they use. They have a cheated version of Isaac. They have a cracked Isaac or else we wouldn't get the views. If I didn't find that sir right here, this video would have 12 views. But since I did, it's getting a few thousand. That's just how it works. And if you're an upcoming Isaac YouTuber and you, you don't install a mod that just... Uh, whoa, does it still home or is that something else? Then, uh, you know what? That's what you're doing wrong. If you're sitting there wondering, what am I doing wrong? It's actually that. So hang on. Pause. <gasps> they do carry over as well, dude. The homing. Dude, we actually have a really fucking cracked run of this right now. Um, we don't even need those extra hearts. I could go back. Could I have gone in there? Is that a thing I could have done? I don't know. 
We don't even need those uh, extra hearts. We got a little spider, a couple spider friends. We go into the mausoleum as well. We don't need that devil card as well. I think I was going to say originally. Ooh, hello, guppy eye. I love the eyeball of my dead cat. Nothing makes me have better vision than the <laughs> eyeball of my dead cat. <laughs> Isaac's mom's like, oh, honey, do you need to go to an optometrist? Do you have bad vision? I was like, I think so. Ah! Oh! And next thing you know, he rips his <laughs> the fucking eye out of his cat. No, Isaac would never do that. He loves Guppy too much. But you know what? If he if he thought of that, maybe he would have. Maybe Isaac's messed up. We don't really know at the end of the day. He's only a five year old. We don't know what psychopathic tendencies <laughs> he is uh, capable of. However, one time I did make a poll saying, would Isaac be successful if he uh, grew up? And that's the time where like everyone was responding to like every Isaac poll. They were just going nuts with responses. A lot of people uh, said, like, uh, I think, I don't know if they're serious or memeing, but a lot of them were basically saying, oh, he would be Edmund if he grew up. Um, and I think that's honestly just the answer. If you're wondering how, because a lot of this is based on Edmund's life. So uh, any question of, would Isaac do this or that? Like, does he like pineapple on pizza? Honestly, <laughs> I think you just kind of got to ask, well, what would what would Edmund do? WWED. Like, it's not... Uh, that was so stupid. It's probably not gonna be all one to one, but you know what I mean. Look how big we are. You know, we took a one mixed your larger pill. <laughs> we, you know how uh, bees? There's like it's, people say. I assume it's true. I don't really know. I don't look into the shits. How um, there's no like scientists can't figure out why bees can fly. Like they just shouldn't be able to fly. That's how I feel with this current uh run right now. Like. Just look at our builds. Whoa, he's tiny. Look at our build and give me one good reason why this thing should be flying. Those wings are struggling, to say the least. Oh, can we acknowledge this for a second? Mega troll bomb, two troll bombs, two troll bombs. Fucking red spiders. This is one of the most <laughs> pathetic rooms of red chests I've ever seen. No joke. Yo, Envy, get fucked. Just get fucked by many, basically, orbitals. Okay, except for that last one. That actually worked out surprisingly well. Ooh, I'll take a good active item at the very end. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god. Brimstone just does not know what to do with the homing. Or at least this specific brimstone. Okay, literally the last place we went to, I swear, as this. We don't need Pokego, we just have the money, so we take it. Along with this beautiful card that is literally useless. Okay, last chance for gravity shifts. And, well, hang on. So, I, I doubt Gravity Shift is going to give us a banger. And uh, we don't take that because, you know, doing the Ascent is going to reveal that extra uh, item right there. So, I'm going to tell with not Gravity Shifting because I assume... <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we saw one active item and just a couple of stinkers. If, we, I only call them stinkers because we know we can get active items there in the Gravity Shift rooms. So, I don't know, man. I, I don't ha think there's a high probability of just getting something beautiful is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's start this ascent and see what items we missed out on. Even though I think we know what most of them are. There's two blind items, though, that I know we don't know. But either way, you know, we're getting more items, I assume. No, wait, Gravity Shift took a lot of them away. Wait, Gravity Shift took most of them away. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Don't even... Don't ever trust me with that advice. Because I, I, I'll try to help you out. I'll try to give you the best advice. But I just won't think of the most obvious bullshit sometimes. Alright. Uh, I'll take it for sure. This is uh, like a Keeper's Kin Paradise room. The only thing we're missing is Hagalaz. That's literally it. Ooh, and a crawl space too. That's beautiful. What we got? We got some... Not completely irrelevant, but not the most useful. We're just making ourselves more stinky, really. Oh my god, that's what the Jupiter character should have. They should have Dead Tooth and that, and it, it, it's, just, it's just called the Stinky character. They don't even try for a name, they just call him the Stinker. <laughs> Though I suppose you can say Blue Baby is a character around poop. Did I literally talk about that earlier? So here's the thing, here's the thing. I acknowledged it in the same video, that they should make a, um... No, it's not a farting character. Okay, okay. But what I was gonna say is, people are gonna, um, not even make it to this point in the video and be like, uh -huh, there's Blue Baby. Um, assuming, you know, it was relevant. Wait, can we still gravity shift here? Hold up. No. Okay, I was gonna say, because we're not getting planetarium chances, so the only reason to do that is if you hate that item, and you just want something better. 
uh, last. That's not how it works. I think that was our one uh, question mark item that we saw previously. Everything else, I think we will get nothing because we gravity shifted out or took. So we'll find out right now. Oh! Never mind. We have this. Is that... It, did we not gravity shift there and just miss it? Or it, does this item not account for the beast and you... Like you said, like I said earlier, you just like min max all your goddamn items. If that's the case, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh my god, you do just get extra items. Gravity shift gives you just so many freaking items on the ascent. It's beautiful. Like I don't really want spin to win though. Spin to win with our little makeshift orbitals would be kind of interesting, but I have to stick with shoop to whoop. Cause look how much health I've lost. <laughs> I I haven't edited this yet, obviously, so I don't know how much health I have. I'm gonna uh, keep in. But I feel like I've lost a lot of fucking health on these few floors, and it's kind of pathetic, and I apologize. But I think we, we're going to bounce back. I can't ruin a death certificate run. I mean, I can. And at the, at the end of the day... Uh, whoa, we're basically shooting normal tears there. Did you see that? At the end of the day, you have no excuse for botching a death certificate room. Because you can always take Arky. You can always just get out of any situation you are in due to that alone. So, if I lose this, it's no one's fault but mine, and it's my fault times 10 as well. What? Am I too fat for that? Okay, that was just unfortunate. However, we have rubber cements, which is interesting. I don't quite know how this is going to work. <laughs> I'm excited to find out, I suppose. All right, we made it all the way to the home floor. Please, please, with the love of God, do not go back and compare how much health I had since I last had the cut-in. Because I am not doing the best. I I have no real excuse aside from the fact I did get a couple speed downs. Look at our speed right now. I don't know how much we made the video, <laughs> but my speed isn't the best. But the I mean I think we could easily pull out a win if we really focus mode, which I'm gonna try to. But we win if we get the brimstone. <laughs> if we get the fucking brimstone, we are just golden. We could take that, which actually wouldn't be a bad bet because the brimstone doesn't pay out. Then we're actually just taking it for straight up no reason. <laughs> so I suppose we're hoping. And we could take that with us, but you know what? That would be a disservice to Shoop. That would be a huge disservice to Shoop. Oh, you know what? Gravity Shift might be fucking fantastic for Beast. I'm now just realizing that. And I kind of wish I saved that for the second phase because we already had the spiders attacking with Keeper Skin. And I did bomb a bunch of rocks in the end just because why not have more Keeper Skins, you know, in general? Oh, there's his second phase, Dogmon's second phase, is going to be great for Gravity Shift too. And you know, anything that really just gives me use of this is going to make me happy. Does Saturnus pick up uh, Dogma's feathers in the next fight? I really have no idea, actually. Okay, okay, we balled out there. We literally are ballers. I can't stress how much we are ballers. Let's just not even have Hanged Man on the freaking dock, because why are we going to have Hanged Man right there? It's, it's going to do less than nothing, especially next phase when we get wings. We could have wings times three. That should be an achievement in its own. It's not the most impressive. Is it the most obscure? You bet your goddamn ass, and maybe someone wants to get awarded for it. I guess. I mean, I'll take it. Honestly, with this game specifically, the more achievements, the merrier. The more... What did I get by? Uh, the more things for me to do. That's not necessarily my philosophy for everything. But I think that's the only time I saw rubber cement do something there when it just clung to that wall right there. Alright. I see great potential for- Oh! We have the brimstone! I was just about to say we have great potential for us to fuck up. But, uh, let's, I'm gonna put on focus mode real quick. We're gonna engage it. But, uh, we have the brimstone. So I am way less fucking worried. It's not an, it's not a GG, though, to be honest, because the brimstone can be... It takes a second. It just takes a second for brimstone to, to activate. But with that homing, though... I actually can't tell what tiers are mine and what tiers are mine, by the way. Uh, but with that homing, though, I'm feeling very happy because we can easily miss. I don't know what tiers are mine. I'm glad he's over. That phase is over because I could not figure out what's mine. Oh, it's it's per phase, though. Ah... Uh, they, they thought of that loophole. Such an obscure loophole. You know what, Edmund? Fuck, you give that to us. <laughs> Not really. It's okay. I forgive you this time. And if I forgive you, everyone else forgives you too. Because I, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I'm the spokesperson for Isaac. I'm sure we can all agree my opinion is the best opinion. And if you disagree, you are in the min <laughs> you, you are in the minority. I'm sorry to say, hey, uh, uh, Binding of Isaac Reddit. Binding of Isaac Reddit. We we're like on the same page about literally everything, right? Oh, the transcendent tears really confused the fuck out of me there. Okay, I kind of wish I had shoot uh, for this phase, but it's all right. It's all right. Just dance. He came a lot closer than I expected. Oh, Azazel, my buddy, you are back. Uh, probably the best one to have it on. In my opinion, this is the worst guy ever. 
<laughs> in the world, in humanity, in Isaac, in any video game. He's the worst. He's just the rudest. I didn't see that coming. I should have. I have Shoop, by the way. Don't know when I got Shoop, but I have Shoop. Uh, and I because we have Shoop, let's do Whoop as well. Oh. I feel like that might have been wasted. We should have done it on this phase. We can just keep dropping that because he's going to keep running into it. And then gravity shift is nothing now, actually. Now that I think about it, I was going to say, oh, no, we can gravity shift. We can actually make use of it <laughs> for a non-planetarium reason. But nope. Nope, we don't do that at all. Can we get another shoot? Can we get another deboop? Love it. Love it so much for us. <laughs> really balling out here. And honestly, these scythes, they all died. We've got rid of all the scythes. Yeah, these. this guy is going to be the easiest motherfucker in the world. I always thought death was really goddamn easy. Especially this attack that I think people fucking hate. I rarely get by this attack. Watch me do it now because I've just been taking dumb damage this whole time anyway. But uh, this is not a hard attack to dodge. I was kind of pooping my pants right there for a second. <laughs> but in general, I do not fear that man. I really don't. And this guy, he's also a pushover. If we die here, I deserve it. And I especially deserve it now that we have Brimstone. Did that hold the brimstone in place for a second? I couldn't tell. Did you see where he looked at without his shoot? That's kind of cute, actually. Oh, dude, transcendent tears of that brim. That's so fucking funny. I love that so much. Yo, this is fucking... We're balling out. If you look up balling out in the dictionary, I'm first of all, I'm surprised it's there, but it's this. I almost got into a suck. Yo! Oh, I was going to say, is that range just ridiculous with his homing now? There's a sweet spot we can hit, but I'm a little too scared to get, to get, to get close enough to find that sweet spot. But we'll find it. Well, we don't need to find it, I should say. So we won't find it. I lied to you. Am I talking nonsense? Who knows? Maybe I am, like, on drugs in this entire thing. I've just been going, bad, 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 bad for. And I actually just had no freaking idea. There's always that possibility. <laughs> I don't think that happens. But uh, do crazy people always know they're crazy? Not, not always. So at the end of the day, maybe you guys are supporting me. And I, I'm just in my delusions. Uh, and you guys, oh, we unlocked Palace. And you guys are just trying to be nice, and I think y'all are real fans. Regardless, this mod is in the description. They were a lot of fun. Kind of hard to learn, but nothing too crazy by literally any means. I recommend y'all give them a chance for yourselves. And, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can play Andromeda, uh, Tainted Andromeda later. The singularity, empty space, looks very interesting to be honest. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a happy Tuesday. Peace out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There's one last thing I want to bring to your attention, and that is that Isaac is having a nightmare right now. He is crying, he is sad, because most of you guys aren't subscribed. And Isaac over here, he's been through a lot. Please don't make him go through anything else. Uh, subscribe to make him feel better.